So at nighttime, I know this is probably lit out here. That's what everybody waiting on, nighttime. Kids out here playing and stuff, and people just chilling on the beach. But at nighttime, that's when they hand it up. You see the brother over there doing his voodoo. There are some lot of Senegalese Muslims over here in Mali. From Mali too, I met some. Back in the 70s, the early 80s. I was a young kid growing up in East Side Long Beach, California. L B C. I became awakened because I gained knowledge of self. I broke the shackles in the cycle of institutional post-slavery destined to destroy the black man, the black woman, and the black child. But guess what? I'm here in Africa, living it, breathing it, smelling it, and tasting it. Everybody, yes. I got a seafood dish with some rice on the side, so I'm about to hit it up. <laughs> uh, still not worried about my flight, so hope everybody's okay. Thank you so much. So this is an unexpected trip right here. Trust me. I was on my way to Senegal, then after that going to Gambia, and things just changed just like that. So let's see what happens, man. You know. The, the most high work in mysterious way, the ways. So everything's a blessing, but I miss a lot of people in the Gambia though. They, they're missing me too, so. Um, yeah, so let's see what happens. All right, fam, that's what I'm gonna have for lunch today, man. I don't play around. It's time for lunch, it's time for lunch. And you know what I'm talking about. Okay, fam, like I told you, get lit up here at night. Light and bright. This way. Go. Right. Just ate a big meal, man. It was seafood, rice, jamming. Go, go back to the telly. Chill out for a little bit. I think I got some classes to teach. I gotta check. Then I'm gonna come back out. How about that? Most high works in mysterious ways, man. I would have missed this if I had my flight wasn't was canceled, you know. So that's the only reason why I stayed a little bit behind. So we'll see. Maybe I stay. Maybe I try to extend my trip here. We'll see. See. Yeah, you know, uh, when you first get into YouTube and stuff, you start to be more trusting and telling all everybody about your personal life and all this stuff. So I'm just vlogging right now. So no more of that stuff. I'm a lim it's, it's a lot of limits. It's limitations. I'm limiting it. Chill out. I was gonna come over here for lunch earlier as I was walking by, but I didn't get to see everything else. I had to see where I was walking at first. What's up, bro? So I see a lot of retirees here and 
etc. I heard some people talking at the restaurant. It was retired here from Europe. I think it was from England. Somebody else was from Paris. So. Stop by here. You know, I was gonna say, this was, now, now to be real with you, Senegambia can be popping like this though. If they do it right, this reminds me of Senegambia too, but it upscale version. Senegambia can be, can be lit. You know what, let me cut this way. I don't wanna go back to same where I came from. Papaya, Papaya Cafe. Yeah, Senegambia can be lit. Just like this. Hope I, hope, I, hope, I, hope I didn't hear me say something. <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit that out, man. I said something. I'm gonna have to blank that out. I, you know, I, I've been, uh, that's a nice little area right here. Normally before I upload my videos, I do a quick review, make sure I don't say something crazy. It's like, oh man, why did I say that? So I don't know what this place is, but it's nice. So it, it reminds me of any typical desert uh desert uh you know resort at nighttime you know palm springs stuff like that you know kind of remind me of that nighttime has a different feel the palm trees looking nice see man we, we we're so limited in the, in the west sometimes when it comes to to Africa, you know, we, we don't really see um, what's in front of us, man. We, we, we get, you know, we just, we don't, you know, see all this beauty that that's, that's here. We just only see um, our lives as it is. And we don't think and consider Never, you know, a lot of Europeans, but I mean, they'll come out here, trust me, because it's close proximity. So I can see that. But as far as from the U.S., we, already, we got Mexico, we got, you know, South and Central America, like the Caribbeans. So what's the point of coming way out here? So this is their Europeans, this is their part of their Caribbeans in Latin America, or whatever you want to call it. This, this is them. This is what they have. I met this uh, one sister, waitress. She was pretty cool. And I gave her a nice tip, man. She was really cool. And uh, she's from Guinea-Bissau. So she likes five languages or something like that. We take for granted well, we don't really, can I say it? I mean, you have all these people speaking different languages, multiple languages here, and we are limited to one and two in the, in the States, which sometimes it's like, whoa, we could be so much better, so. And we can, we can open a bar. Especially, oh, I saw Water Maya video. And this one sister from Suriname, I believe. Or some Guyana. I think it was Suriname. Speaking Swahili, man. He said she was more African than him. Cracking him up. I was cracking up. A lot of it's true. You know, in a sense, as far as a lot of diasporans, which is Suriname and all them, 
today are really uh, into Afro, Afro uh, centric. You know, they want to be they want to be in Africa. But all those places, those Guyana and Sierra Nam, they should try to be part of Africa. You know, why not? Be another African country. Yeah, I'm just thinking, I'm just talking out loud. All right, I'm back at the hotel. About to do this. About to rest up and check my emails. Keep walking with me. Back in the 70s, the early 80s. I was a young kid growing up in Eastside, Long Beach, California. L.B.C. I became awakened because I gained knowledge of self. I broke the shackles in the cycle of institutional post-slavery destined to destroy the black man, the black woman, and the black child. But guess what? I'm here in Africa, living it, breathing it, smelling it, tasting it. 